Massive changes for the front end of my Toyota Tundra. We're gonna go ahead and install this. everybody and welcome back to Rob Motive FST and that's right today we're going to be starting some massive changes for the front end of my Toyota Tundra now if you don't know what this is first of all let me point you down it is of course a new hood bulge it is color matched black of course to match the truck and if you happen to be looking for one of these you can pick them up over at sparksparts.com discount code Rob Motive for 5% off your order and here's the part number, everybody always asks, there's the part number for the hood bulge itself. Of course, you would need to get one in the color to match your truck, but that'll give you a starting point. If you don't know where it goes, it goes right here. Replaces this massive chrome piece right across the hood of the truck. So I'm gonna pop the hood open. We're gonna go ahead and replace it with this new piece. All right, got the hood open. Uh, it's pretty easy to take off. There's three bolts, screws across the front. They're 10 millimeter and then some nubs that hold it in. So first things first, we need to pull those screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. There's one here, one right here, and one right here. Pretty easy to find. They're of course silver or chrome looking. Let's go ahead and get those off. And pay attention when you're taking them off. They're not held in there, or they're not tightened down very tight, I guess. So important that you don't over tighten the new one, of course. So it helps to pay attention to how tight the ones are that you're taking out, then you'll know how tight you need to put them back in. Let's, uh, let's see about this one. I love how easy this stuff is to do, you know, all bolt-on stuff. I mean, how much easier can it be, you know? It's one thing that Toyota certainly has down is the ease of doing mods to their trucks. It's almost like they want you to, you know? There's two. And notice I'm being careful not to drop the screws down in the engine bay. Why? Well, because I've done it, and it's a drag when you have to spend half an hour trying to find a screw for a project that shouldn't take more than probably 15 minutes. I don't know. All right, that was pretty easy. In case you want to see, this is what the screws look like. Not much. So now, if I recall, the easier way to pop this thing off is to bring the hood down, uh, latch it, don't shut it, just latch it on the safety latch. So let's do that. And then you kind of have to pull a little bit. Now, I don't remember how hard you have to pull. And I say remember because, of course, I have done this mod before, um, but not on this truck. So if I recall, you kind of kind of pull up a little and then out because there are push tabs, pins, whatever you want to call them, all across the bottom and across the top. And they're at different angles, right? So let's uh, just, that was pretty easy. That was pretty easy. All right, that was pretty easy. Now we should just be able to pull it out this way. Fingers crossed, here we go. Okay, like I said, pretty easy, easier than when I did it before. Now, where are the pins? You guys can see I'm talking about these here across the bottom, and there are what? One, two, three, three of them? Looks like one, two, three. Yeah, only three of them. And then across the top, there are two, four, five that are right across the top here. You can see right across the top, and of course I'm speaking about these. Um, not too difficult to get off. Uh, it looks like they give you access. I'm not sure why you would need access with this cutout, but who knows? You saw how easy it came off. So let's set this aside. We'll grab the other one and uh, put it in. 
Okay, this one should be the same. And going by the way that we actually took it off, uh, I'm gonna put it in the same way. So I'm gonna hopefully push the top ones in and then push the bottom ones in. That is my plan. You know, good plans, you know what happens to them, right? So let's put you back down here and uh, hope that it goes on. No, I could just leave it like this. Think about all the extra airflow going in there. Now there is one other corny little thing and I was reminded by this when I actually consulted my last video this morning to refresh myself on how to do this. Typically I'll sign the truck somewhere with the channel name and date, you know, uh, because I think it's kind of cool. And actually recently somebody who had bought my previous Tacoma, I had done that with on the mirror caps. When I changed the mirror caps, I had signed the back of them with the, the date and the channel name. They actually contacted me on the web and said that they took those mirror caps off. I'm not sure what they were doing. And they saw my signature on the back. So it's just corny little things like that. It's pretty cool. So let me clean this up. I'm gonna sign it real quick. I'll show you. Here's what I've done again, just a corny little thing. Rob Motive 9121. So if anybody buys this truck in the future, um, they might see that if they pull the hood bolt off for some reason, maybe. They like chrome and they'll put chrome back on. Who knows? Let's carry on. Putting this on, I want to make sure that the, the little pins line up. Shouldn't be that difficult. Again, famous last words, right? Let's make sure everything's lining up. Looks lined up to me. Now I'm just going to kind of keep the front down because maybe the bottom ones will go in at the same time. Look how awesome this is looking already. Um, but I digress. Let's go, let's go ahead and give it a push. Oops. There we go. You can knock it out beforehand. You know, I get excited. Okay, here we go. <laughs> That's it. It's really not too complicated to do. So now I have to put the bolts back in the top and this mod is done. Again, the old one hand rule, take it with one hand because you're using your wrist mostly and chances are your wrist is probably not as strong as your bicep, you know? So at least I hope not. Um, so you just want to tighten it, wrist tighten it, you know, that's what I'll call that. And when you really have to start getting on it, uh, because you can't even go overboard this way, then you're probably there. You probably don't need to go any tighter. That's it. That puts it on. It's just that simple. This is the part of the video where we show you the dramatic change. Ready? Here we go. Check it out. Now, what I've done, of course, is I've set the old hood bulge on top. You guys can see the chrome monstrosity that's up here, right? Let's take that off so you can see the full glory of the color matched foot bulge. Get rid of this. There you go. Now you can see what it looks like. Isn't that awesome? You know, it even looks better already, even with the chrome grill on the bottom. And of course, the chrome bumper caps. Look at all that chrome. We still have a ton of chrome on there. What the heck? Well, it's not going to last long. There will be future videos coming up as we make massive changes to the front end of my Toyota Tundra. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you not think that looks better? Even, even now with the chrome still on there. I think so. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive, all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma. And Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.